So what is a seven segment display? Well, it's an electronic component that displays numbers and it is comprised of various different segments. There are seven segments that form one entire digit. And there's not just one digit in a seven segment display. There can be four digit seven segment displays. And these are mainly used in calculators, clocks, and various other electronic components that measure uh, numbers or time. Um, and what a seven segment display does is it pretty much displays numbers and you know when you buy a kit in Arduino, it usually comes with a singular digit seven segment display that goes from zero to nine. Or there's also four digit seven segment displays that can go from zero through 9,999. And so in this video, we will be discussing how you can apply a seven segment display um, in a circuit or and how you program your own sketch to make a seven segment display work. So here's a diagram of what a seven segment display looks like. As you can tell, each individual segment is labeled with an individual letter. And this is important because once we are, we're gonna program with the Arduino, we're gonna define each of these segments into our Arduino and we're gonna call which pin, we're gonna set these segments um, on our microcontroller. So each, as you can tell, each segment makes up one entire digit. And if you want to make a one, see, if you want to make the shape of a one, we'd only include, we'd only turn B and C high, but leave A, F, G, E, and D off on our Arduino. So this is, this is going to be the same thing with every other letter. We're going to set some pins high and some, some segments off, except for the eight, because if we have we're going to turn the 8 on, we see that it covers every se individual segment. So the entire 8 is going to be high. Every individual segment is going to be on high. So for example, if you want to do number 2, we would set, we would set A, B, G, E, and D as high on our voids void loop and then we would set F and C as low but for this case in this tutorial we're not going to set DP so just if, uh, ignore this period right here and that's just as a brief example of what this is talking about see I'm even gonna have, I'm also gonna open my Arduino so you guys understand what I'm talking about when I mean high or low procedures here's my Arduino So as you can tell, I am defining every single segment. And in this case, I am defining segment A on the each on pin two of our Arduino. So each pin right here is, um, each number right here is the pin that we're gonna be placing on the Arduino. And you have to put number defined so that you tell the Arduino that you are gonna set these digital pins on, that you're gonna set these digital pins. And so in count equals zero, we're using this statement so that we tell the Arduino that we're gonna start with zero. And then pin mode, we're setting this variable as an output. So then for the void loop, void loop, pretty much what it does is it loops, um, it loops all the commands infinitely. And so one thing you notice here is that there's a pattern. So we must start with digital right if you wanna set pins high or low. And so for case zero, in this case we have case zero, and you notice that we have all these pins, all, all these commands as high except for G. And why do we have G turned off and all these turned on high? Well, because if we go back to our image here, we know that if we set G on, we're gonna get this. A, B, G, F, E, D and C. And that's not going to look like a zero. That's going to look like a like an eight. So if we set G as off, we're going to have all these individual segments in the perimeter of this digit, and it's going to form a zero. And that's basically the general idea. If you're going to set all these digital uh, write procedures, um, you have to know which ones you're going to set as high or low. So that's a very important thing. And also there's here is um, 
Now I'm going to be explaining what the COM pin is. The COM pins uh, mean common anode or common cathode. They are on the middle pins on each side. So this would be pin 3 is the common cathode and pin 8 is the common anode. And what the common anode is, is that each segment is an, is an LED. So pretty much segment A, all these segments are LEDs. So in each positive leg of each individual LED shares one common pin, which is the common anode. And this, this is what allows all these lights to turn on. So if we connect this individual pin to a ground pin, we're onto our Arduino, we're gonna have all these LEDs turn on. And um, in this case, for our circuit that we're going to build, we're not going to use the common cathode. But it's similar, just with different pins. So this is the explanation for this diagram. Now we're going to build the circuit itself. So to wire our circuit, I'm going to write a little uh, diagram or schematic about how this is going to work. So here is my seven segment display. So that's my seven segment display. This is the various different compartments. And then here are my pins. There's pin E, pin D, C and these are just pins we're going to use we're not going to use every single pin on our 7 segment display and here's pin G pin A and then pin B I'm not going to forget for com readers com and that this is turned this turns on the LEDs and then for pin A pin A is going to be connected to Pin 2 of our Arduino, pin B is going to be connected to pin 3 of our Arduino, and then pin C to pin 4, and pin D to pin 5, pin E, pin 6, pin F. Pin 7, so then pin G, pin 8. And then for COM, which is the common anode, which is going to turn on all the LEDs from each compartment, we're going to be connecting this to ground. So there's our little schematic, and we're going to use our 330 ohm resistor connected to this com so that current will flow properly and it won't burn a single circuit so this is our schematic here and that's what we're going to use uh, to connect our 7 segment display to our Arduino so now that I briefly explained my sketch what each part of the 7 segment display is and what it means now we are ready to build the circuit itself. So materials you're going to need is as follows. Breadboard, seven segment display, microcontroller, one singular 330 ohm resistor, and eight jumper wires. And don't forget your USB cable. So now I'm going to use this schematic as a reference to building the circuit. So here's my breadboard. I'm going to set my seven segment display anywhere in the breadboard. Now we're going to sit it right next to our Arduino right here. And these are the pins. You can easily see them now. As you can tell, pin B is connected to pin 3. So um, pin A connecting to pin 2. Now here's my 330 ohm resistor here. It's going to be used to connect from our common anode to our ground pin of the Arduino. 
and then for pin pin F is going to connect to pin 7 pin G on pin 8 pin C just so you can see no pin E connected to pin 6 so each of these numbers represent where it's going to be connected on the Arduino so pin 6 and then pin D on pin 5 pin C on that middle pin so make sure it's not going to touch the common cathode which is what powers what makes the LEDs brighten up more and here's a DP pin well this pin is going to turn the period on so for this case um, we're not going to power those two pins we're just going to simply power E, D, and C so C is going to be powered on pin 4 and that's my circuit wiring so now that we finished our circuit we are ready to now connect the USB port from our Arduino to the computer itself and now we're going to see what happens when this occurs like the video make sure you drop a like and if you didn't understand something on this video you know I'll answer it and put it in the comments down below as always the code will be in the link in the description and also I will have a schematic uh, representing this specific circuit right here so I'll see you guys in the next one